Alrighty. So I think I should be live. I'm just going to promote this real fast. Should be up and live, ready to go. Let me just quick copy this. Sorry, one second. Right, almost ready. Almost ready. One second, guys. Almost ready to go. Let's get the show on the road. Here we go. <clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andrew Moto, and welcome back to another stream. Now, you all are used to seeing me stream Phasmophobia every now and so often, but this time, we're going to switch things up a little bit. So, in honor of this game, it is, well, now belated, as I tried to stream it on Monday, but some things came up, so I had to push it back a little bit. Today, we are going to play, or in this case, me, as in I am going to play The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, long story short, this game was released on April Fool's Day 2023. Everyone thought that this was going to be a typical April Fool's Day, but then Sega and Sonic ultimately gave us this amazing side game. In fact, this was one of the most popular and one of the most positive reviewed Sonic games ever. In fact, I think it was, it got a, over a million downloads within a short amount of time. So, let's take a look back at this wonderful game. I cannot wait to revisit this. It actually has been a full year since I played this game when it first initially came out. So, I can't wait to revisit this again. So, again, if you're new here, click that like, click that subscribe button, and let's hop to it. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. Ah, oh, here we go. Hey Pika, hey Millie, hey Sis, hey Babe, hey Bella, hey Sis. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, there he is. There he is. Phew, made it on the train, 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Even though you were here last year. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot. My name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. Yeah, this is coming from the guy that's nameless, but it turned out to be your name is. Barry. I'll just sign my name here. Should I just do my normal name? What do you guys think? I won't Pika, I won't. Eh, yeah, yeah, fuck it. I'll just I'll just do my normal name. Well, if I can type. Well, keep it simple. Hey, did I spell it right? Well I would hope you did. Eh, no you didn't. Uh, whatever. Hope passages could read my scribble. Trust me, your handwriting's way better than mine. I think it tease we like with Hika anyway, maybe not. <laughs> Tiny car, oh here we go! Oh man, boy this is bring back memories of last year. Uh oh, am I nervous? Is this, is this, for, is this first day on the job jitters? Working on the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on Andrew, shake it off. Oh yeah, I forgot he slaps himself in the face. Uh, Andrew, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? M -m -m Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? 
ho, ho. Quite all right myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Should I just follow along with the con- Um... Should I just follow along with the conversation, or should I sweet talk him? What do you guys think? Although I will not forget, however, how beautiful the art is in this game. I know, right? Like, that's what really made it appealing to me as well. So, what do you think? Should I go? What do you guys? What do you guys think? Top, bottom? What do you think? What do you think? Everything. Follow along the conversation. That's what's all right. Fine, I'll follow along. I'll just say, is everything all right? Is everything all right? Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Well, shouldn't it now be 33? Wait, did you unretire? Wait, did you unretire? Now you're re for another year, then you're re-retiring again. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to go to Spag Spagonia and Locks. I forgot. They forgot they're going on on a they're going on a trip together. Well, our shower's been on the fridge, so I'm excited to use the hotels. Ew! So you smell? That's disgusting. I can see why his wife's excited. Hey, Bionic, what's up? What's up, friendo? Hey, what up, Demi? Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. Sweet. I can open the inventory anytime you guys receive. I just love the menu. Oh, oh, carefully, yeah. Real carefully. The chicken cordon de bleu. The, ra the, the ramen. And the... Chili dog. Cool. Why do you look so nervous? All we have is a train. All we have on the train is a microwave. You know, for as fancy as this train is, it only has a goddamn microwave. That's all it has. That is like the saddest thing ever. Like, it, they go all this trouble to make this beauty of an interior decoration of a train, and they only have to, to cook food as a freaking microwave. That is so sad. <laughs> So I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Uh, I don't know. Is it the Crab Rangoon? Ding, ding, ding! Glad you could read the menu, okay? Ding, ding, ding! What do we have here, Johnny? A little about the vessel is the state of the art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. If it has all the latest gadgets, why does it have only a fucking microwave? This train can really handle anything you throw at it. Mm. That's a little sus. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. If it's used for events, then why only have a microwave? I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as a conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure that paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? I'll make you proud, sir. <laughs> Glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mars Express are opening. All aboard! Oh, we got more people. Hey, Noah. Hey, Detective. Hey, Cass. Hey, Ulysses. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I, I gotta say, the people that did the artwork on this, I mean, seriously, I don't even I don't even give it an A rank. I give it a pure S plus 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 rank. They did a perfect job with this. All right, here we go. Here they are. And there she is. There's Amy. Big fan of the outfit, by the way. It looks absolutely beautiful on her. Ah, 
and there he is. There's my boy. There is my fox boy. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. I'm, I'm not even going to bother voice acting. I, I am going to destroy my throat if I even try. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Pfft. Oh, Rouge, you and taking things and your greediness. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? Ah, oh, there's the cowboy. It was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? That is true. I mean, who the... I mean... I, I kind of don't blame Rouge for that, to be quite honest with you. What cast of characters am I stuck with? Bruh! You were just with them last year! Get a hold of yourself, Andrew! You're sweating through your uniform! I mean... Understandably so, because of... This guy! There he is! There he is! I played this if I had laser rifles and, and, and real murder! <laughs> oh my god, Debbie! Call Rouge Ranch because she's dressing. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Art is very cozy, nice, 10 out of 10. Yep. Agreed. There's the boy. There is the captain. Oh, captain, my captain. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to take the confidence approach. I'm not going to be like the shy guy because I like to be confident. I like to be, you know, I want to show others that I can be confident no matter who I meet and anything like that. Because e here's the thing. Even if I'm like hypothetically in this scenario, if my, if me or my OC for that were to meet Sonic, I would be confident. Yeah, a lot of people would be shy, but I would be damn confident and just say, hey, nice to meet you. Like, radio friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal? Why can't I be normal for one second? You know what? My own self, I don't blame you because I'm never normal. <laughs> oh yeah, this look. I forgot about this look. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's rules to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Andrew, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with, and we'll contact their... And, or contact, Jesus. And we'll collect their ticket. I can read. Okay, got it. All right. Hey, there's everyone. CC, oh, this is cute. Look at my... Look at my... Look at my three favorite boys just hanging around together. You know what the best thing about this? No Charmy. No Charmy whatsoever, and it makes me so goddamn happy that that stupid little bee is not there. However, I am annoyed that Silver is not there. Silver needs to be there. Get Silver in this game! Alright, let's start with, um... Oh, and there's Shadow. Uh, you know what? Let's let's start off with Chaos first. Let's go with SBO and... Let's go with SBO and Vector first. Could we please see your tickets? Of course. Excellent, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. I'm sure you're not the only one that feels that way. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me! I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, nin ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of, a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. Well, he's a ninja. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. <laughs> Alright, let's go with Vector. Oh yeah, I think he he uh, misplaces his ticket if I'm not if I remember correctly. Hello, my friend! Can I get your tickets? Uh yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of standing morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Don't we all do that? Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have, I seem to have misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. True. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his tickets. 
If I'm not mistaken, wasn't it right by the napkins or something? Aha. There we go. What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Say, wasn't someone looking for this ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket is added to your inventory. Alright, so now let's go back to Vector again. Find anything yet? Well, we might just have what you need. Andrew, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Here, I'm going to take a look at chat. Oh, right. You lost well, snakes on this play not very required. I don't want snakes! No! Fuck snakes. I don't want snakes. Hey, Abitude, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, I'm starved. I'll take one of each. Oh. <laughs> there she is with that face again. Listen, when you know when Amy gives you that face, that's when you know that you're absolutely screwed. On second thought, maybe I'll wait a bit. See, she didn't have to say anything. Andrew, I was referring to the other thing we picked up. Right, sorry. What? Oh, the ticket. Yes. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. Was really worried you kicked me out and I missed the murder mystery. Ho, 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 Andrew here would have, would have, wait, would have, would have their hands full kicking you out. Sorry, I just got as instantly brain dead there for a second. You're right, I wouldn't have leave without a fight. Now, if it, well, the Barry OC would have, would have no shot. Although, my Mobius OC, eh. I think you would give him a challenge, but maybe I might come up short. Alright, let me get rid of the last part. Wait, who made me both micro expert and security guard? That is... Good point. You're both the right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Alright. Um, uh, hmm. you know what? I'm gonna do the ladies first, and then I'm gonna do um, and then I'm gonna do then I'll do sh then I'll do the boys. So let's start with uh, Rouge. Why, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else. You hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. I mean, there's a reason why she does that. Ma'am, I see you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Ha, you're fucked. <laughs> the awkward silence. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. How is she not in jail yet? I may not add, I may not actually be the best at judging character. Don't worry, neither am I. Sometimes I feel like I'm a bit too nice. Alright, so Rouge is done. Let's go with Blaze. Come on, we're silver! May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. P -p princess Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. What's so bad about cake in your dimension, Blaze? Too hot? Too spicy? Ho <laughs> ho! You don't say! Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess! Oh, God. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Yeah, you see, if I was in that train, if my Mobius was using that train and Barry was doing that, like, I'll be like, dude, what are you doing? Why can I not win with this group? Because you're trying too hard! You're overthinking things! You dummy! It's an obvious thing. Come on. All right, now let's go for the birthday girl. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Hehe, <laughs> why certainly. Aw, oh, that, that expression is so cute. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? 
and a murder mystery just and a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? That's true. You can always go for a good thrill. You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along for you Before we move along for you, miss. Oh, have fun, thank you. What do I do with this? Oh yeah, the it's the key to unlock any door on the train, right? That unlocks any door on the train. Happy birthday. Yep, there you go. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use it wisely. Thank you. Aw, oh, the blush. Alright. So now we did the chaotic. We did the ladies. Now it's to do Shadow and then Team Sonic. There it is. Mr. Star... Miss, the ultimate Starbucks life form. Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything else? Is there anything we can help you with? <sighs> Silence. Do you sell gift bags here? Oh, uh, no, sadly, but I have plastic. Gro I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. <laughs> She's like, whatever. That's there, brr, so cold. <laughs> yeah, see, read my mind. Eh, hey, yeah, there you go, Demi. <laughs> Andrew, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch you your jacket? Ha! No, no, I'm good. All right, so he's all set. So let's go with the boy. So we're gonna do. We're gonna go Knuckles, Tails, then Sonic. We're gonna save Sonic for last. The cowboy. Howdy. Could I please get your ticket? I I, I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. I mean, pretty sure most people don't. Maybe except for Sonic. Everything looks good, thank you! Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. <laughs> hmm. it, it's funny that like Knuckles is like he acts like a like shadow quite a bit in this game. Like he vaguely smiles. Which is which is quite hilarious. Alright, now time for my boy. I just love his detective outfit. It's so cute. Could I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir! Thank you, may I offer you any of these snacks we have on a board? No, thank you, when I travel I always pack up my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any... melt any jaded heart. A sparkly jelly, you say? No way, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too, it's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far, we're smart we're spark... <laughs> sparkle gelatin buddies. Cringe. Haha, <laughs> absolutely! If you need anything, just let us know! Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. I mean, to be- Okay, yeah, you know what? Tails is the most normal out of the whole one. For the most part, that is. More so than others. Alright. Now time for the man himself. Uh, sorry, I have to head off. Uh, but I have to head off, but I'll come back if you're still out. Yeah, no worries, no worries, Bessie! You do what you need to do. You're good, you're good. Ticket, please! Thank you kindly. Happen to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Oh wait, did I actually skip the dialogue with Sonic? I may have, I may have clicked a little bit too fast. Eh, oh well. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feel the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? Bruh, you were literally on this train for quite a bit of time and you didn't even recognize him until just now? Come on, man. Like, I would have just, I would have done a pure face palm over my head and Barry actually said that. I'd be like, I would be like, bruh, really? I promised you, an, I promised you an excellent stay in our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have f f fun now. Wow, what a simp. Will do, thanks. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems, seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Ah, there's the train. 
Assist Andrew if they need any help, won't you? Me. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a, than a conductor and his train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the, pl the place, either. The train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everyone else, please talk to Andrew. Here, please talk to Andrew here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. <laughs> Amy's just like, okay, bye. <laughs> I like that guy. Good for you, Vector. Thank you for all the following outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. The murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder and mystery game, one of you will be murdered, and the rest suspects. Everyone has an assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Partic uh, participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course! Yeah, birthday girl makes the rules! Sonic, you are a ship captain. You'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be hanging here in the dining car. Indubitably. Indubitably. Yeah. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Bruise, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. <laughs> Blaze is just like, bruh. Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio, the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. I feel bad for them being in the library. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter, I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yeah, yes. You don't need to explain it again. Ah, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than alright, you can help ensure everyone's following the rules. Oh, that reminds me. Yep, so we gotta go through the train. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station marked on this map as well. How convenient. Maps are having their inventory. Hell yeah. Why couldn't Knuckles be the murderer? <laughs> oh my... You know what? I, 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 I'll be quite honest, I automatically thought, I didn't want to, I usually don't jump to assumptions and conclusions, but I genuinely thought it would be either Knuckles or Shadow, because if there's anyone that would want to kill Sonic, like in a playful manner that is for the most part, but literally beating him up, it would definitely be either one of them. I love to be on a, on a train full of adorable talking animals, right? I definitely would be, absolutely. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer, uh, murderer amongst, amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must pay physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate the fellow passengers to figure out who done it. Yeah, I know. The murderer will the murderer will lie to get out of, out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. Clues? Sonic Blue's clues. That should be the next... That's, that's the next idea. We gotta find the clues. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations. All right, here we go. He would kill Sonic. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree. Ah, this is so exciting. A, mur a mystery is unfolding right under, uh, right under our very noses. No, no, I'm, I'm again, I'm, I'm taking the thrill approach. I'm not doing the shy scare tactic. No, no, fuck no. Same. Ah, this is, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out here mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This is this way. There's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery, anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploiting their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. Hey, the Flicky! 
Aw. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. Damn. Alright, Tails. I like it. Like it a lot. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. That's kind of like, isn't that kind of who you are, Amy? No offense. You can be a bit nosy. I'm not gonna lie, this is this kind of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Like, I don't think you need to be on microwave duty. I mean, just they could warm up the food themselves. I think pretty much they know how to work a freaking microwave. Oh, here we go. Oh, now it's about to get done. Hey! Birthday tween! Hey, birthday tween! Oh, here we go, here we go. The train started moving! It's so fast! Grab onto something! What is going on? Ah! I'm slipping! Hold on! I can't! Oh, here we go. No! And they died. The end. It, well, it's over. They died. And the game ends. You're both awake! Y yeah, n no shit, Sherlock. Y yeah, it seems the train has slowed down considerably. You know what? For this situation, I don't want to be like, oh, this was fun. I'd rather be concerned if this was me and then say, hey, are you guys okay? Is everyone alright? Is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. <laughs> get workers comp immediately. We should go check on the others. Andrew, could you get the door? Of course. Oh. Hmm, it seems like the door is blocked and I don't think it's budget. Try, how about you try lifting the bookcase? Amy, give that fall or a shelf or whatever. Amy, give that fall and shuffle whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Hmm? What? Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. Sus! I'll search over there. I'll search over here. It feels like, the fuck? Excuse me? I know Amy. She's. I know Amy. She's hiding something. See, this is why I would, you see, any detective or any mis mystery that I want to try to get resolved, Tails would be a no-brainer. I would be with 100% of the time. I suppose she did wake up before us, something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks, I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Yeah! That's, you know what, Tails, that's why I look, I, th now that's the, the confidence and the demeanor I want to see more from you, Tails. Let's fucking go. Check out everything you can around this closet, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and, inter and interrogate. Got it! Oh, flashback. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? Understood. You can count on me, Tails. Hey. I won't turn I won't turn evil like your ex flicky companion did. Happy to hear it, now let's get searching. Oh my god, I love his smile. It's, ah, it's so cute. It's adorable. Alright, so what should we do first? Oh, oh yeah! I forgot about the trash bin! He's always looking- Barry has that, that urge to always look at a trash can in every single freaking room. Oh my god, I totally forgot all about that. Oh my god. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. <laughs> that look. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? It's easy. Just get confident. Feel good about yourself. All right, let's go. Let's do the stuff on the floor. What do you think? What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. I normally never, I normally never make microwave meals, but I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. Yes! Oh my God! You see. This is this is why Tails is my boy. Yes. Cook on an iron skillet. Yes! Yes. Way better than a freaking microwave. Oh my god, Tails, I freaking love you. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. Oh. 
I'm heading to his house. I, I am going to his house, and I'm going to try out his pizza. I am definitely having that. I'm now a Watson. Now Amy's been scanned. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. Oh, pff, oh that's actually kind of sad. All right, now well, let's do the. Um, all right, let's do the wet floor sign, and then we'll do the, the um, uh, the shelf. Ah, the weakest wet floor sign, keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Aw, big bro helping a little bro out. Wow, Sonic is really as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. Ha <laughs> ha! Rip. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Ouch! Oh, you see, as someone that's worked at a gr that works at a convenience store, there is... It is so brutal to knock, like, your foot or your ankle, your leg, your knee into a shopping cart. It hurts like a bitch. It's so bad. Well, it's a thought that counts, I suppose. All right, now we gotta do the. Is there anything else I need to click on? I don't think so. I did. I did all this. Was there anything more? Because I'm trying to re-remember everything. No, I think it's just the. Sh oh, yes. The part of the pico pico hammer. I forgot. What's this? A rod? The tip is broken. It it looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick is added to your inventory. Oh, great! A stick. Oh boy, I love sticks! The shelf blocking our exit is currently not budging. Hey Andrew, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure th I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf has been added to your inventory. Yeah, I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened! Oh, the sheer... Oh my god, he's so freaking adorable! Love his... I, you see, I love the confidence. I love his confident demeanor that he has in this game. Alright, here we go. Oh wait. I did the shelf, I did... Okay, I think we're good now. Let's go interrogate the birthday girl. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we, if we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out? On a train? I'll keep looking. No, let's start the interrogation. I'm, 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 I'm hopping right into it. Before they get going, I'll be back in an hour. See everyone. All right, all right, Noah, take care. Take care, bud. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world would you think I think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Oh, that's right. You microwaved the chili dog. That's what you did. I told you I'm not eating until it's my birthday cake time. Then, no, you have to eat your dinner first and then have dessert. Do you not get how that works? Ah, let me think through this again. Amy's been awake before. Blah 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 blah. You murdered a suspect! There was no one there's no one here other than you and Tails, are you, and and are either of you murdered? Plus Amy and I are roles that can't be murderers. How do you know that? Hmm? Some rethink is in order. Okay. Alright, let's go with the well, the true one. I don't think you were sitting idly while Andrew and I were were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. I love how she said prove it, and there's like a huge ass Pico hammer. A uh, dent mark on the shelf. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Bro, you literally just found it! Andrew, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deducted, we must form an argument to fight back. Alright, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? Oh, that would kill. Oh, wait. Oh, I got that mixed up. I failed. Not quite sure this would convince Amy. Let's give it. All right. It is the shelf. Whoops. There we go. What? Some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You are a liar. You are fucking lying. 
you have no argument here. You're grasping. And you are a liar. You are a lying liar. I can see your nose slightly growing, Pinocchio. Better watch your lies. Oof, okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we know this train of thought. How does how does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I haven't explained myself. What do you see? I, uh, well... Hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think. Think! 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 Brain Blast! What would Sonic do? Hmm, what would Sonic do? Tails, you're the smart one here! Why are you asking what would Sonic do? Come on! Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running for it, collecting rings, crushing badness. He never loses. Like, like an endless, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Co dude, come on. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. All right, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire comeback. Okay, I get it. I'm like plankton. I'm like, all right, I get it. Like Sonic would do. Okay, I get it. Oh, oh yeah! I forgot about this. Oh, and then and that's the jump. Oh my god, I forgot all about this. This was probably. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be such a bitch later on in the game. Yeah, I did it! I did it! Oh, we age attorney now. What an adorable little baby. It's so cute, I know. Hey, he's such a good friend. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Agreed. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? Well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? Now I click on the stick. Jose Jalapeno on a stick. What is that, a stick? No, it's a stick. You truly believe a stick would do this kind of damage? Oh, oh, we're right back into it. Okay, well that didn't take long. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, well, I forgot about this. Whoa. Give me that. No. Oh, god damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's. Alright, so follow your train of thought again. Alright. Wow, this is only the second level and I already failed miserably. God. I haven't done this in a year. It's been so long. Don't you dare hop over, Sonic. Okay, there we go. Wow, I barely made that. You know who Jose Jalapeno is? Of course! Jeff Dunham. You're right, I still can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Let's just, like it said, like it say, a hammer? Ah! This isn't a stick, this isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. Ha! Yeah, you failed! Biatch! Okay. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Ah! Ah! Well, you, well, all right. Calm down. Don't have a panic attack. Hey! It's as you both said, I tried to get us all out with, the, with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. Well, how about you just be honest? Instead of lying. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective, and I dabble at, as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten the things here. A little elbow grease there. And fixed! Tails, thank you. I just love the fact that he's just like, oh, I fixed it. Just stood there with his hand out, like, ah, I got it. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. Tails, just keep working your, just keep cooking with your brain. Give you a big thumbs up for that. 
according to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here... Oh, oh I already said that. If you should do the trick. All right, stand back. Oh, man. Oh, that pose. Ah. Uh, all right, stand back. Boom. Wow, that was a loud smack. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it! We're free! Wow, she is so genuinely happy of what she accomplished with her Pico Pico hammer. Great job, Amy! Let's get out of here! Oh my god, I love... I love that happiness and blush on his face. Oh my god, it's so adorable. Alright, now we're getting out of here. Oh, wow. That looks like... This mess reminds me of my younger brother's uh, college dorm. Wait, is that... Oh, there he is! Oh, <laughs> oh the face! Oh, <laughs> there we go. And... He's dead again. He's dead again, folks. He be gone. It can't be! Sonic! So I murdered my darling. You, okay, now this was like this was the talk of it that Amy was so happy that he's dead. <laughs> oh, I love it. So I murdered my darling Sonic. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who I'm. I'm finding out who did this at once. I just it, it's still funny to me that she's just so genuinely excited and happy that he's dead. He's like, ah, well, fuck you. You're never good enough for me anyway. You never wanted to be with me anyway. Amy, wait, I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. I honestly, I don't blame you. That was really convincing, Sonic. Oh, God. Oh, that's right. The music stops. Sonic? Eh? Buddy, numb. C can't move. Wh what are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. That sounds so unlike him. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery or is this serious? Sonic. Sonic! Oh, no, no, no. I know. I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Andrew. What do I do? And then there's Sonic. He's dead. Yep. And Amy looks a little too happy. Oh, he's... She's very happy that he's... De that he's, uh... That he's dead. I need you to do everything in power... Okay, I don't need to read this again. I've already... These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich! My god. Is Rouge rubbing off on you? You wanna... You wanna... You wanna be rich... Okay. So I leave their care to you, Andrew, my favorite employee. Sure you won't let me down on, th on this last ride. Ha 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 ha. Well, you call me my favorite employee, your favorite employee, even though it's my, it's my first day on the job. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if, even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. I forgot they showed the title and they it's the whole beginning. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting to the main game. Here we go. We're at the saloon. Whoa, look at this place. Uh, you know what? I love Tails too much. I'm gonna go focus on Tails. Hey Tails, where are you? Andrew, I'm over I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Yeah, I mean, when it's remarkable that the love of her life is dead and she's surprisingly very happy about it. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a quick question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? Ha 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 ha! He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're we're all just really committed to the murder to the to the mystery for Amy. You have no, you have nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus, if Sonic likes plus Sonic likes a nap in a lot of strange spots, he's fine. 
You're not wrong. He does nap in some strange spots, for sure. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's really what's going on. You know, I'll just say, can I tag along with you? Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Ha, fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to ha so I'm happy to have you. Hey. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because um, where's my lore card? The last guy to work on a case would be ditch our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Oh my God, the pout, the pout. Oh my God, the pout on his face. He's so freaking cute. Oh my God, I freaking. Oh my God, this is why Tails is my favorite. I oh, I adore him so much. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. E varmints. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, Bella, look who's here. Look who's here, Bella. What are you all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy's mosing through and told me all about it. <coughs> Enough of that. Yeah, that was cringe, bro. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy? We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi in. Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's... God. I will say, I'm I'm not the biggest... Listen, as much as I love this game, I'm just not a fan of Knuckles being a dick for most of this game. Like, he... he like, I mean, yeah, we have our have our moods and stuff, but like, but he's like a genuine like shadow in terms of his be in terms of behavior. I wish he was a little bit more positive in this game. He's obviously agitated about something, but why? But why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Andrew, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we're all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. All right, so before I get this, I'll. Wait, hold on. Can't click on any of this, so... Uh, let's do the bowl. Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts! The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Uh, it seems like someone licked all the, licked the salt, salt off them. Hey, yo. What? <laughs> or maybe they're just unsalted. Oh, let's talk to the train. The robotic arms are really helpful. Meep, meep. Me. Me. What was the arms doing? What was? What's the arms doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. Oh my god! <laughs> Tess is like, wow! I'm so enamored with your hair. It looks incredible. Oh my god. Well, what interesting tech. Uh oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can? How well can it microwave? Um. Oh, the cops. That's right. Andrew, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. Or, was Knuckles really thirsty? Andrew, this one has lipstick on the rim. Oh my god. Kn Knuckles wears lipstick. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. It's red! Red is not- What do you mean that's not Knuckles' color? It's red! What do you mean? Come on! We should lock this. Used cups are added to your inventory. That's disgusting. Why would I keep a used cup? That is gross. Oh, you know what time it is. Trash time! Something's always in the trash bin. Let's check there. Sadly, this one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I mean... It, he, I mean, you're not you're not wrong at all. I mean, that that's more than a fair statement. I think Tails is ignoring me. <laughs> are you pulling off a Sonic and Sonic Prime? You're are you ignoring me? You're ignoring me. Why is everyone ignoring me? All right, so let's go to these guys and then Knuckles. Breathtaking views. The train passes by incredible sights. 
I'm just happy to be traveling at normal speed. I get I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. Yeah, I get really bad motion sickness. If I'm going to be totally honest, I get bad motion sickness in a car if I'm not sitting up at the front of the car. I don't mind roller coasters, though. Though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. You know what, Andrew? Me neither. Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe. I'll keep my, an eye out. Poor Amachow. Hate to see them like this. What'd they do? Medical malpractice. Jesus Christ. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, so let's do... Alright, so let's do the arcade thing and then we'll, we'll go to Knuckles. Clearly won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Ah, that's right! They were playing Monkey Ball! I forgot all about that! Yeah, Super Monkey Ball! Go to games, by the way. Can't wait for the new Monkey Ball game to come out in, on June 25th. It's coming up pretty shortly. And I still have the original one and Super Monkey Ball 2 for the GameCube. Both still fun as hell. Peak gaming. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damage looked more to be caused from punches? Who could have done that? Oh, <laughs> I, oh that's funny. Just tails with the really bro, and Knuckles is like, I didn't do anything. What are you two looking at me for? Smash Arcade is added to your inventory. Hey, I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. All right, let's do it. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. It's the one where you say, I like your hat, and he starts blushing. I like your hat. Hmm. Wow, Knuckles, who would have thought you'd be blushing so much for another guy to uh, compliment you? Are you swinging the other way? Knuckles, are you blushing? I said, leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Well, when you react like when you react like that, that is true. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said, leave. You know what? I'm just gonna go right into the actually. Well, actually, I'll, you know what? I'll just do this. Hmm, not hungry. Well, if you ever are, let me. You'll let me know, won't you? Sure, like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Andrew. You're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it! All right, you know, let's go interrogate him now. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Nope, we're interrogating you. Fuck you. Knuckles, Andrew and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Liar! Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Andrew, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Uh, well, it's obviously one of these two. Um, distracting... I mean, it's gotta be the arcade, right? Because why would the used cuffs be considered as a distraction? The arcade machine? Ha! What makes you think I touched it? Oh, here we go. Think! Time to think! Time to use our brains! Oh, oh god. No! I'm hitting the wrong button! Wait, what? Why is it not working? Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Stupid freaking keys! Uh, you see, you have no argument here. You are weak. Damn, ouch. Andrew, let's follow that train of thought again. Alright. Okay. What? Wow, did I really jump early? My god, I'm so rusty! This is only the beginning! Imagine how I'm gonna fare against when, it, when I get towards the end of the game! Alright, can I... Alright, come on. Oh my god, I barely made it. <laughs> Think, Andrew. I'm trying! Clearly I'm not thinking enough. He had a motive. Sonic beat him in Monkey Ball, so Knuckles took out his anger on Sonic. <laughs> oh, that... You know what, Bella? You know what, sis? That's actually very true. That is very true. 
blue he was trying oh oh my god detective really come on this is a tough one knuckles knuckles you clearly touched the arcade machine because because your hair was found at the scene hair you mean fur fur you mean spines doesn't matter because it seems like i'm wrong here you clearly touched the arcade machine because super monkey ball is your favorite game that's clearly why you touched the machine while Super Monkey Ball has has adrenaline pumping Monkey Ball action, this proves nothing about the current situation. May have been off the market. Let me try again. Obviously, Knuckles, you clearly touched the you because it's covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damage are punches? What are you all staring at my hands for, Knuckles? You clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I need a punching bag, and none were available to me. Oh yeah, anytime you're on a train, it comes with a free punching bag. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. H how will you... I'm on it. Andrew, distract Knuckles while I fix the Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! Oh, gotta think again. Oh, here we go. Time to fail. Here we go. Nope. Ah! Nope. Oh, come on. All right, I still made it. All right. Whew. All right. Whew. All right. The arcade machine is fixed. Wow, he's so excited about it. No! Don't look at the scores! Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Bagel! Wow, Bagel and Candy really went at it with each other. Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It's also something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be the library car. Hmm. The picture's beginning to be all painted here. You can feed with Vector to see who would get the highest score. And Vector beats you. Haha! <laughs> Busted! Got him! And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Grrr. He's punching the air in frustration. That's actually really sad. You're guessing. What's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. Is it really that common of a name? Like, really? Is it really that common? Hmm. Oh, time to think again. Here we go. Gotta keep using my brain power. Oh, here we go. Oh, I can tell the pace is getting, is getting faster. Ah! Whoa. Oh! Whoa! Oh, I thought I would have I thought I would avoid that. Woo! Just made it again. Oh my god. Once I get near the end, I'm gonna I'm gonna be suffering so much. <laughs> now Andrew, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? I mean I already clicked on the arcade machine, so it would make it would make sense for me to click the cups, right? I mean, unless you want me- I mean, I've already selected it, so I guess I would have to go with the cups. No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's- mm, it's not like- Oh, Vector and Knuckles. That lipstick's on there. See? I knew Knuckles was swinging the other way. It's not! I wasn't! And don't tell Amy! Tell him what? I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanted to play at the arcade, machi arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the, the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story. An alibi. I've already told I've um, already told an abridged version of this to Amy. A bridge? A bridge? A bridge series? Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. <laughs> well, that explains one of the used cups. But what? Of, but what of the cup with the lipstick mark? Oh, you hiding something? Rouge was in here too. Ha <laughs> hey, let's go. Nuxuge. <laughs> oh my God, that expression, that reaction. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. 
She searched around for something but failed, made, but made fun of our game and left. Rouge is a monkey ball hater? Well, you know what? Fuck you, Rouge. Fuck you for making fun of monkey ball. Nah. I ain't letting that slide. Obnoxious, that one. Right? You know what, Knuckles? I agree with you. Absolutely. I absolutely agree with you. Can we mur- No, Detective, we're not murring Bella. You have to get through me first. But you offer her a drink, apparently. That's like saying- Victor's a common name? I know. What? Why? 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 Victor's not a common name. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two re relent? Hmm. I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu- Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Oh, uh-oh, you got busted! I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list. Doesn't make sense. Angie, can you take a look a look one more time? And not a name on the high score list? What is Tails talking about? Bread! Now nah, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna waste my time, I'm just gonna get right to it. I don't wanna make this too long. All the other names have a food name, but this one, it goes by Ultim. You may not know Andrew, but there is there is someone here that goes by the title. The ultimate life form. Oh, there's Mel's boyfriend. There's Mel's boyfriend. Th there's really someone that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. Oh, oh, hey, hey, sister. By the way, your by the way, sister, your your boyfriend's dead. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. <laughs> wow, I'm surprised you're calling both of them annoying and not Sonic. That's actually surprising. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Ooh, a key. Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him and saw no one else after locking the door. You get some water. Stay hydrated, everyone. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key, too. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking... Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rue searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me, even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're going to have to find them and ask them yourselves. Yes! More information than I expected to get here, but it seems like we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is, is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Oh, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. <laughs> I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. <laughs> we'll do, Sheriff. Come on, Angie. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. You don't microwave a freaking chili dog. No. If you're going to make chili... Or, or a little chili... Oh, my God. No, you... Oh, no. You put it on the stove. And you heat it up on a stove top. Come on. Andrew! Wow, he seems so happy to see me. You know what? This is worth a screenshot. There we go. <laughs> Coming! No, he's just gone for me, but... Uh, he was so happy. I was like, okay, let's go then. Ready to mosey down the next to the next car? You got it, partner. Onwards. All right. We're trucking along! Yes, he is dead! Yes, he is, Dixie! Go give him CPR or something. Because I know you want to. Oh, oh, Mel, I saw what you see there. Uh, what did you miss? Uh, you missed, um... Uh, Knuckles being, ang being an angry boy. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll, I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's famous journals reporter Amy Rose is hot on the scoop. 
I'm heading out. You've been famous. You've been fabulous, fabulously helpful. Already, before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both so sweet. Thank you. Hmm. Vector seems it's Vector seems that we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Have you found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl. Ah, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy. On, she's oh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you in quick. But how are you gonna leave? The door's the door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Tails, Knuckles literally just said that to you. Right, right, the birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy must be hasty, but she but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Look look at my suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm uh making sure things go well. Things aren't going great. Not sure if you've forgotten, but there was a murder. No! I never knew that! Well, I mean, besides that. Besides murder? Ah, my social skills. Non-existent. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. Ayo. Hey, okay, then. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader, meant to challenge our own delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Wow, Tails, that was very intelligent of you to say. Can I hear some? Sure, uh... Teardrops in the spring, can you hear me sing? La 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 la, dee 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 dee. Boo! You suck! Oh, no, 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 actually, I'll, I'll pull a... Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm, uh, I'm satisfied for now, thanks. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Andrew and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leaving the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car. The last time I played the Murder Sonic Tantra, a friend of mine screen shared their name through Discord. We mostly voice acted through the game together. Oh, man, was fun. Oh, oh, nice, little sis. I'm glad you had a good time. Where Amy told me Espio to stay. I probably picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? What? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search for the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard she shout, No way! at the at the brochure. St stand over, Stand over there. But she leapt back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She obviously, she's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. Then, <clears throat> then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. Yes, peak gaming, peak game. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again, locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. Okay, I, my brain is like, my brain's getting confused a little bit. <laughs> Too much information. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told she's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Oh brother, oh my god. Oh Dixie, you know you love me. Hmm, with all these locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. 
Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for ya. And if you'd like to be, ser be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid, but we should still search for clues. What are we looking for? Is there any evidence that proves what they're hiding or what they're saying is true? We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if f was actually in the library card reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Alright, let's go with the pile of books first. Oh my god, the pound! Oh my god! I swear, if Tails ever made that face to me, I could... Like, like Tails is the one, like, you just can't... You can't stay mad at him. If you made a face like this, I'm like, oh, I can't stay mad at you. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Ruse pulled a lot of these out, just, uh, pull, pull all these out, too searching. Too searching for something? This seems a bit grammatically incorrect. It should be Rouge pulled out a lot of these, a lot of these out to search for some. It should, I don't know who made this sentence, but it's not pulled a lot of these out to searching for something. It should be, but Rouge pulled a lot of these out to search for something. That's the grammatically correct way of putting it. Yeah, whoever did this uh, didn't double check their work. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the for the poor books. The spine the, the spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Alright, uh what's next? Oh yeah, the that chow poster. A chow hangs precociously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there! Wow, I really needed to see this. Wow, he's so mind blown from this. This little child's hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this child can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there, there was that much thought put into this poster. Right? Alright, what's next? Uh, oh, let's, let's see the robot arm. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't have wanted to clean up all this mess either. Wow, so you're a lazy ass? Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Are you sure about that, Andrew? Am I sure about what? Wait, uh, Bella, can you clarify that? Well, I can clarify that... I can clarify that Dixie wants to give Sonic CPR for being dead. Or at least passed out, for that matter. <laughs> yeah, probably for the best. Uh, ooh, what's with the globe? A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are all fun and all, but I love to visit some of the countries. There are a lot of fun, obviously. Pl plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't beat either. Ah, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about it, Spagonia if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop by at the university side of Professor Pickle. Ah, yeah, they, they mentioned Professor Pickle from Unleashed. He'll tell you everything about the about the area and make us one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? Uh let, let's check out the book first. What's this bright what's this bright red book? Oh yuck, this reeks of evil of the evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any any book he's written. It's weird that this is even here. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was like, who cares? Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. Oh, a table? Uh, okay. Uh, let's take the pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want me to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll just rest my eyes a bit. Andrew, no. Don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. Oh, that's right. We got more. Uh, I think it's just this. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. All right, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the books, titles excitingly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out of the floor and everything, but... Every book on these shelves has an alphabetical order, but this one... The Mirage Express Manual. Hmm. 
It's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Cleaning the uh, cleaning the pool. Uh, Dixie's going to get you injured. It's a uh, oh yeah. Pff, I'm not Pika. I'm not scared of her. Okay. <laughs> That's a user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Mirage Express manual is added to your inventory. All right, so we got that. Oh, oh, the trash bin. Yes. Something's always hidden behind the trash. Let's check here. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Ah, I really thought there'd be something there. Andrew, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No, I'm, I'm all right. I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Um, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, okay, these trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Andrew, you're pretty, uncon you're, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Uh, did I, did I? Oh, oh, I didn't click on this. Oh, the Chaos Cola! Yeah. Alright, so let's, uh, talk to, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to click that. Shadow was supposed to be walking through the library car before into the saloon car. Oh, that's right! The lock! When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. We should make a note of this. Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock is as your inventory. I thought for a second it was supposed to say, like, no, you can't go in there because you haven't found enough things yet. Alright, let's talk to Vector. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. Oh yeah, yeah. They won't mind some. Um, they might. They they will not mind a random passenger bringing in a, a meat cleaver onto a train. No. Maybe in America. You actually tried bringing a knife on a train? I'm a man of of, of authenticity tales. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a, in a ketchup stained apron. Not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. But what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Yeah, me neither, t me neither, Tails. Alright, let's start the- Oh, we don't have enough? Wait. We gotta look around a little bit more first. Uh, okay. Uh, what more am I missing? Uh, am I missing anything else? Do I need to- Do I need to talk to him? Oh, wait. Oh, brochures. There are travel destinations ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Andrew, oh yeah, that was what I wanted to find. Okay, there we go. Andrew, look at this. There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's let's take it. Library map is added to your inventory. Should we take up this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's Celacities. Nah, leave it. Oh, ha, ha, yeah, right, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. I think we've had enough clues. There we go, that's what I wanted to find. Let's go interrogate Vector and Esper to find out what the, what really happened. Why couldn't Silver be here? Yeah, I know, right? I wish it was, I wish it was in the game. Did you bring me any meat? Oh, wait, here, let's just, let's just skip that. Yep, here we go, interrogation. So, the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't. It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the 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 uh the validity of your the validity of your alibis, the validity of your alibis. That 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 can't talk. The validity of your a alibis. There we go. Andrew and I are here to com to confirm two things: why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Esco really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library card to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Tails is like, oh, you got bored? What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings us to our attention to you, SBO. Rouge entered the library car and found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but you actually but you were actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Once SBO starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. 
It must have been a good read. What was the book? Vesio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, then I, I have a hunch on what the book, on what that book might be. Andrew, could you help me out? All right, all right, Andrew. What book do you think Espio may have been reading? A manual? You think Expo was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Oh, it's time to think! Oh god, it's getting faster. Oh. Alright, I'm good. Ah! Nailed it! First try! Let's go! You need me to read? Ah, at some point! <laughs> there are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. I get fucked, loser. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SBO. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like that. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, SBO. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. True. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Andrew, if you don't mind... Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip the, just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Let's go with page 362. All right. What efficient, extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? The robotic arms. Oh, come on. That was too easy. The robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like Espio aced that question, Andrew. Hit him with another one. Oh, okay, which page should I choose? Uh, 89. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged with the no-show fee. This does not apply if you are over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, Angie. Let's see if Espio can go 3 for 3. Gotcha. Which page should I pick last? 402. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train had an, uh, has an autopilot, but it can't access the, the full suite, the full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass you a little test? Totally. It's while you were able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be able, to, if I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understood everyone's cautious attitudes. Let me drink some water. Vector was the only one to see me reading. After all, my alibi is hard to. Uh, to substantiate despite being the truth. Oh. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can't... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that it can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Andrew? He always puts me on the spot. Okay, Andrew, think. We should have, we should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who... who also saw Espio reading. But what? Uh, wait, we should have a piece of evidence. Someone who saw... Uh, the lock? Shadow's lock? Shadow's lock? 
Please pray tell. What is that? Okay. My brain, my brain is so dead right now. Let, wait, we're up, Andrew. Let's get our argument together. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. In the wrong key. Oh. Whoa. Wow! Perfect! Let's go! Hell yeah. Let's do it. Fucking nailed that one. Trying to walk through the library card to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. You hear that, folks? The more you know. Crocs are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car, so there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Ah, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. It was... I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me that the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have a caused you to look up? Well, I... Uh, you see... Yeah, you're screwed, buddy. You're screwed. I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors... Then at that moment you were you were really in the library car at all. We are were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my de my dear Andrew, one that I would love for Espio to solve. Wow, you're calling me dear? Take it easy, Tails. Take it easy. I mean, I love you, buddy, but just calm down. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow return to the library car? What should I do? No, I'm joining Tails. No, 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 no. I'm not defending Espio. I'm joining Tails. No, I can't interrupt Tails when he's on to something. I'll let him continue with this line of questioning, and... Andrew, my fair and beloved employee, please protect the passengers aboard this train that must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow such an old, feeble soul to get sued. Well, all right then. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails. We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't leave, couldn't have seen couldn't have seen one another. Okay, yeah, I can read. Is it is it the library map? All right, now let's get my thoughts in order. More thinking. Here we go. More thinking. Uh oh. What? Well, I hit the space bar. What the fuck? Oh, come on. God damn it. Right, let's try this again. There we go, okay. 
I didn't do anything. Hello, Greninja. Alright. The library map. Oh! Oh, I see! See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path! If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Interesting, that's where I was sitting Interesting, that's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because a bookcase was in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you've never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the, isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all of our questions. We, we did it. Another pair of alibi... Val, blah, blah, blah. Another pair of alibis validated. Yeah! Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm going to crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. Oh, see, oh, seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give him heck, and if you need any meat chopped off, say the word. My god, Vector, you are really craving meat, aren't you? I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. Our murderers on the loose, while the doors keep getting locked. Tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Andrew, let's see what's next. Coming! You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? The mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. All right, we're making progress. Ah, here we go, the casino. Oh, by the way, chat, I'll be right back. Just to quickly run to the restroom, and I'll be, and we'll continue this real shortly. Just give me a minute. Alright, I am back. So, let's continue with the story. All this stuff's getting all this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. There are the girls, there they are. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited Tails every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's a high time you told us why. My my, talk about a warm welcome. 
quick to the point, aren't you, darling? Ah, oh, Rouge. And I see you brought the microwave master with you. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that she calls him that. Oh my god. The microwave master. Ah, uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right, folks. Or, or Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Can you explain? <laughs> Rouge is like, Rouge is like, damn, wow. You're really forward. Tell him, Rouge. We're going to need the help. Blaze? All right, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about the treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part, uh, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. <laughs> Rouge, Blaze is just like, for God's sake, can you just tell them already? All right. Well, it's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does. Wow, that does sound extravagant. Yeah, based on your reaction, you definitely feel that way. But please don't tell me you've accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. Aw, look at her blush. That's cute. She wrote me into the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for her clues. I deduced that the Fabergé chow egg is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, look at Stevie's and Pika's respective wives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Mel. Oh, my God. Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. All right, so 230401. I don't know if I need to know that code, but I'll remember it. 230401. Okay. The train's blueprints. Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh-uh-uh, finders keepers, sweetheart. Oh, the kid. You see, it's not Rouge without a, 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 a kiss impression with a heart on it. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of a problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. But we're not getting... But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you to steal the Fabergé Chow egg? Oh wait, so you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chow egg? There, I meant to say that as a question. Blaze, you don't have any. You don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Andrew, do you have an opinion on this? Stealing is for squares, just time for a five figure discount. Yeah, you know what? Stealing is for squares. Fuck stealing. I think the only square here is you, Microwave Master. <laughs> wow. I must admit, that wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. No, my cool, mysterious reputation is crumbling. My god! Don't let other people define you! Only you define yourself! Don't let others define who you are! Alright, alright, I'm in, I'll help. Well, I suppose that both Blaze and Andrew are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé Chow egg. Heh <laughs> that's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Ah, yes, right, the whiteboard with the plan. Oh boy, what have we got ourselves into? Access to the Fabergé Chow Egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we? So I don't want to go through the wrong answers because I don't want to drag this stream out. So I'm just going to go straight to the right answer. Distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Andrew, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Work is boring right now, I need entertainment. Besides knowing you, you'll tease me which- Oh, oh, oh my god, Bell and Pika, you, you too. I swear to god. Seems like they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? I think it was Blaze. That was, Blaze was the correct answer. Think you can distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great. Her voice is so stoic. I had chills. Hey, easy. Whoa. 
Easy there, aka Barry. Don't, don't drool for her, okay? Calm down. You have a job to do. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Uh. Oh, asked them about their part. Was it about. Yeah, their partner and kids. Excellent. People love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guard. Perfect. I think we can move on then. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you how will you get the access card? Uh Grab Take their pocket, I guess? I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That child in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent, we can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get the blaze out. We need to get blaze out of there, Andrew. What's your plan? Pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Then you'd be married into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? Wait, well, I um, you're dress you're you dress far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning immediately. God damn. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We've had to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. With all right. Absolutely vile. I can't think of anything worse. <laughs> worse than than a drink without a coaster. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing. It allow such a thing uh, in my kingdom. Yes, Mel. You're right. You're right. That type of us go running. I'm sure of it. Great, and with the guard distracted, we'll head to the elevator. And just like that, we'll all make it in the elevator. Inside, we... A celebratory dance. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Have Tails disable them? I should be able to dis disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely into our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Uh, I kind of forgot this one, actually. Tail oh, pretend there's nothing wrong. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone's ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right, let's see, we, let's see what's up that elevator. All right. Ah! Here we go. I knew that play would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it to start without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé Chow egg. Hee <laughs> hee. No question this gotta be the safe with our treasure. Enter the, the code in the blueprints and find out, Rouge. Honest we are. Let's see. 230401. There it is. Oh, wow. It's here, haha, <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, look at her blushing and be like, oh, it's beautiful. Oh my god. Haha. <laughs> I have it. Alright, before anyone sees us, let's get let's get out of heat. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's that's all there is Do you think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever. Whatsoever? Bruce, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can. All of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should... All you need to do is twist it. Twist it! Bop it! Pull it! Flick it! Tick, 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 tick. Uh... Huh, oh my god. Why is Blaze looking at Tails like, Ew, you smell. Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the eggs lived to tell the egg secret? Because each egg has a bomb? Is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. 
We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it after all our hard work? Rouge! Fine, fine, but what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Uh... I think th no, this was the correct one, right? Yeah. I, I'm not I'm not clicking on all of these. As funny as it would be, I don't want to click on all of them because it's going to drag the stream, and I don't want to do that. I think it was the finish ticking, right? Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Andrew. That is our goal. Listen, listen I get that, but... What if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Andrew, I think you're onto something. <laughs> oh my god, Tails, I'm so glad you're happy for me. Huh? What's what's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the trains manual. What efficient, extremely accurate technology was used to assist in keeping the train spotless? The robotic arms. You're inventing a form of variety of tasks responsible for cleaning up trash and mess out. Yeah. The robotic arms could also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a, a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought into the train disguised as the Fabergé Chari, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. The boom! You're dead. All of you are dead. Okay. Hmm? The egg, it opened. It's hollow. Not a bomb at all. You both were really onto something. Phew! My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart rate to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. E, and look what it's inside. Ah, uh, oh yeah, the drip! The chow drip! Wow, look at that sparkle, it's so heavy too. The final secret to the Fabergé Chow is, is a chow covered in gems? It's perfect, it's exquisite, it's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Chow egg's secret. Wonder why if the egg was, wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb? Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much as this, this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. No one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdued the drink's cough, uh, drink, uh, coaster fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun. Strangely fun? But I prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that, beza that bedazzled chow. What, what, what is it, darling? About those blueprints, now that you're done with them, maybe we can take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance. It's as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I miss any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek at later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Another key! Let me unlock the door so you, so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge, but we also just had as much suspicion about uh, as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Andrew. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Oh, wait, hold on. Check the robot arm. The capabilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder why uh, or wonder how they're controlled. I don't know. The conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate, operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. 
Yeah, that is true. They're very versatile. Alright. Oh, trash bin! Tails, we must search the trash bin. Ah, uh, it's empty. Oh? Oh? Did I hear an oh? I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even peeking through the trash. Even see, it's about persistence, Tails. My dad told me that when, it, when he met my mother, he would drive her to work two hours, two hours away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. She quickly agreed to a date. When she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, the two were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. That's um very sweet, but that's that. But all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. A lollipop stick? Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all that's that's all that's here. Andrew, Andrew, is everything okay? Do you mean to bring you bring you a flower? Aw, just leave me be. Aw, <laughs> poor guy. Jackpot rings. Let's go. Dr. Angu has built a lot of casinos that run uh, to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play for any for fun. Blackjack. I don't know how to play that. It's easy. Let me show you. Andrew, we simply don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic. Probably a good point. <laughs> Slot machines. Hmm, should I give this machine a try? Play the sods. Big money, big money. Well, I lost. Do I try again? Yeah, move on. I respect your restraint. Ha, thanks. Oh, we got poker chips here? Poker chips. Hmm. That's Dr. Eggman's logo. I suppose he does a deal a lot he does deal a lot with casinos. He must be he must be dealing with Trump then with all this dumb casinos. He's an evil scientist that always caused trouble for us in Sonic. Hmm, every poker chip I've personally seen has Eggman's mug on it, so I'm not too surprised to see this here. Yo, Arctic, what's up, man? I'm about to distribute my own spot, but I will have a tab up for yours later, dude. Yeah, no worries. You're good. You're good. 99% of gamblers quit right before hitting it big. True. True. Very true. That's fair. I suppose I shouldn't be too so surprised then. Uh, did I click on everything? Uh, should I talk to either one of them? I guess I could talk to Blaze. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these uh, casino games. Your alibi? Do you think you can go over your alibi again for us, please? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Fabergé chow egg. We walked and talked to the casino car, where we then went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof where you were playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash out voucher. You can you can take a look. Let's see here. 14,000 credits? Damn! Blaze is the casino master. That's an enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. Damn, 14... Boy, I wish I had $14,000. God damn, Blaze. If I'm ever in the Mobius world, if I ever go to a casino, I'm definitely bringing you with me. For luck. That smirk. She's so self-aware. Well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Ah, that's right! I forgot! She mentioned Cream! I, for I forgot all about that. You know, I was happy they mentioned Cream in the story. That's awesome. Of course, can do. Alright, now let's go talk to Rouge, because I think I pretty much clicked on everything else. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now, what can I do for you, darlings? Your alibi? Do you think you can go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in on my Fabergé Chow egg hunt. We split up at the casino car, and I went searching for the blueprints. I walked back through the library and saloon cars till I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. 
Alright. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it! Alright. We are now in the lounge. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Shad Amy time. Here we go. You know what? I will say, though, real quick before I get started with this, as someone that's a Son that is a Son Amy fan, I do like certain... Okay, people have asked me, what is your favorite ship? I, number one is Son Amy. I am a Son Amy fan. I also like Nuxuge. I also like Silver and Blaze. However, however, especially thanks to Kawhi and Bionic, since I've met them, Shad Amy has definitely grown on me. I will even add... This is coming from a Son Amy fan, by the way. Shad Amy has definitely grown on me. It has. It really has. Now is as good a time to, as time as any to clean out my pockets. Oh my god, that... Oh my god, that look from Amy! Oh my god, this is so terrifying! I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. Oh, Mel! Mel! <laughs> I have my reasons. I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Amy being her sassy self. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm. Hmm. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dogs when your microwave chili dogs delicious. I also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have you lot will have to tell me what wait, huh? Wait. Was that meant? You lot will have to tell me why? Is that supposed to make sense? I guess you lot- I, I guess that's a thing? I guess it makes sense? Okay, I, I'm not gonna question it any further. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. On a train? Yep. Did you randomly make a doctor's appointment on a train? Weirdo. An appointment? Who meets- who wants to meet with him? Well, Andrew, it seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Andrew. My god, he, this is the second time he's called me dear. My dear Andrew, my god. Oh my god, I, I can't, I can't, I, I, oh my god. He, ah, oh, he's, I love him, I love him so freaking much. Uh, this is why, to me, Tails is the GOAT. Listen, as much as I love Sonic and Knuckles, as well as my other favorite characters, Tails is... I mean... Look at him! I freaking adore him. Oh, that's right, the closet! Or the wardrobe. What, did I say closet? I don't know why I said closet. Andrew, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out, or worse, something leaps out? I just think you should do it. Oh, Alright, I'll just do it for him. Alright, watch a pro. Ah, <laughs> cough, cough. <coughs> All this dust, you opened the door too fast. I blew everywhere. Hack, hack, hack. You're hacking? Hacking? Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright. Oh, the chow ban. Alright, let's do the robot arm again. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Give me a high five? It doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. Hey! Tails, you're the best. You're the goat. Trashman! Tails? No. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Bendy, shut up. Don't say I'm not a deer. How dare you? How freaking dare you? Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I, just, I was like, Tails? No. 
You see, Tails has had absolutely, he is absolutely done with his shit of always looking in the trash bin. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Andrew, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Andrew? There's always something in the trash bin. Ha. Huh. All right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Ha ha ha. Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website? It's for the band Hot Honey. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. <laughs> Tails is like, yeah, okay, you know what? I'll let you have this small victory. There's always success Always success if you check the trash bin. Crumpled paper's been added to your inventory. Yeah. All right, let's go to the printer. Seems a, seems a printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Uh, let's do singing a song and singing a song. This printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. Hey, look at him. Look at the boy. Look at him singing his heart out. Let the boy sing, reach for the stars, or endless possibilities, baby. Let's go. And there you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. And I'll quietly set this back on set this back on the printer. Oh, the band, that's right. Hey, it's the big chow band. Diddy. Be beautiful. Ten out of ten. That was ten out of ten. Absolutely beautiful. They don't miss. Those child mi those, those child understand music. That's true. Oh, the frame. Hmm. A key ring? Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. The key ring's been added to your inventory. I don't think we can leave, unless there's something there. Oh yeah, we can't move on. It was just from the library part. Oh yeah, I guess I was getting a bit ahead of myself. I guess you were. Oof, better get back to the investigation. Alright, uh, I guess we go right to Shadow. Here we go. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare, so cold. But to Mel, so hot. <laughs> Sorry, Mel. Love you. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Andrew, we certainly will not. Uh, we can do a little talk. There's nothing I can help either of you with. I actually need me be. Okay. Alright. I'll skip that. And Terry, wait, we don't have enough. Oh, maybe talk to Amy. I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around for a little bit more first? Hmm. Uh, talk. I mean, what, what else have I missed? Maybe talk to Amy? Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. I hear sharing is caring. No way. Journalist reporter Amy is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to ch challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems so confident. We'll hold you to it. Oh, a question from Watt? You know the journalist can't be the murderer, remember? We've learned the train will confiscate any weapons brought on aboard. But you've had your hammer this whole time. That's a good point. Simple. The birthday girl gets the gets what the birthday girl wants. And I don't go anywhere without my hammer. Ah, the birthday law. We should have known. Everyone knows the birthday rules. Makes sense to me. Now, no more questions. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. I'll be ready. I'm so close to getting the scoop of the century, I can feel it. Okay, yeah, I had to talk to Amy first. Alright, let's go talk to him. Why did you come over here? Wait, what do you mean you don't have enough clues? What? Uh... Am I missing something? I got the... Wait, was it the computer? They told... Was oh we had the did, wait did I not click on the computer I don't even remember 
They told about this in my interview. The lounge is a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. Ah, yeah, I thought I already clicked on the computer. I didn't. That's what I was missing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the, com on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Uh, right, wait, can we... God, I'm trying to re-remember everything. Oh, the window. Wow, Tails, you must have, you must, you have to check this out. Hey, there's Big! These windows are huge, what a view! I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. Boy, at this point, yeah, I'm so sick of the freaking cold weather at this point. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air... Despite the murder lingering in the air, I just thought the same thing. Alright, I, I, is there something else that, I, that I'm missing? I could have sworn... Wait, wait, hold on. No, I, I, I click on everything. Find any clues? Wait, huh? Uh, am I missing something? I already clicked on all of these. What am I missing? Hmm. I mean, it can't be the printer. I already clicked on that. What am I missing? Oh, the rope. That's right. Oh my god. Or a pull string. That's right. I was like, wait a minute. I knew I clicked on everything else. A pull string? Andrew. What? What? It's got to activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe open. There's a full passage passageway back here. Come on. We have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. Aha. There we go. He's curious. This is the library. There's a pa there's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shh. Quick, back through the passage before they spot us. Oh my god, like, they're, they're both just, like, staring at each other. We need to add that to our inventory. Hidden patch has been added to your library, or inventory. I think we found enough clues. There we go. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. All right. Now let's do it. <laughs> He's like, why did you come over here this time? Fuck off and leave me alone. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why! Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? Heh, <laughs> every time to reveal my hot tip! Ayo. Every hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door right here is the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car, following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the, the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do, sure do. He locked all, he locked the conductor's car and then locked all the others so no one, so, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjuncture. You all, get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic is the logic sound though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of uh, train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Andrew and I can explain the car, the car, uh, the car change. However, Andrew, 
What evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten into the dining car? Um... Whoops. God, I it, it, the fact that it's been a full year that I can't put my brain around it. Okay, just just get my thoughts in order. Here we go. Time to think. Here we go. Oh, uh, I can feel I can feel it getting faster. Okay. Oof. Oh, I forgot about this! Oh, God. Oh. No! Oh. oh, I still did it. Okay. Whew. Made it. What is a Sonic? What Demi said. Angie and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, and walked past the distracted boys playing an arcade. Playing arcade. And safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Andrew. Hey, thanks, buddy. Excellent work. Appreciate it. Hmm, that adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor's car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off of the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course this is just a theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. So, oh yeah, so you're basically like every fake news source media out there that just wants to make a, an assumption of what happens without giving the proper evidence and physical evidence to back that up. You're literally like every, you're literally every, almost every media outlet in today's society. Ha, seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espion Vector not see him? Well, um... I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Andrew, do you have any guesses? Uh, well, SBO and Vector didn't see Shadow because... That's true, Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. See? Things are falling into place. But what about SBO? I believe SBO was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Espio reading in the library in the library checks out. That's what it, he told me too. He's lying. What was that shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? Hmm. If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to, seems to have one. Alright, no worries, Mal. You do what you need to do, okay? Get that many game away so I can see Shadow. Oh. <laughs> That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps. Andrew and I can further val validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Andrew, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? That feels good. Now get now get to my thoughts and now to get to my thoughts in order. Think! It's time to think! Oh god. Oh, 69. Let's go. 69 rings. Let's go. 
There's only one reason that's ex there's exactly two kings on keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. Well, well, what of his what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what? Then what possible reason could he have done for locking all the doors? She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Andrew and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? Because you're because you said you tag along with him and help him, you dumbass. First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Huh? Has anyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, mostly everyone. Yeah, everyone's been so sweet. Hmm. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't gotten me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Andrew? Ah, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through the every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, but not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Andrew. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Hmm? What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Hmm. How dare. Andrew, show me evidence. Well, Amy, don't come at me! What are you doing? Oh, God. I really hope Amy doesn't give me that look. It, it, like, if my Moby associate is... If she gives me that look, I would be so terrified. Uh huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough for whatever. What proof do you have? Ah, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep... Just trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows that Shadow didn't want Amy to know? Boom. That feels right. Phew, just organize my thoughts. Oh, here we go. Where we at? 65. Oh god, it's getting faster! Oh my god! It's going so fast! Oh god! Oh, come on. No! Nope. Hey! Let's go! Yeah! Let's go! You went rooting through the trash. You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's a Vance ticket website. Tails, don't! Oh, ah, this is Hot Honey's website! No way, I love them! Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is ah, my, cur my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. Uh, wait, all the members have B after their name? Yes, he isn't it cute. I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car shadow we're stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey Band tickets website exists because... Yep. Wait, Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow? I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this after I accuse you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. 
Oof, probably our fault there. Ah, uh, sorry. That's all the detective's job is, I suppose. Hmm. When I arrived at the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for, aim worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen the Honey Live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you, you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gone through every locked door with ease. The plan's, uh, the plan's fatal flaw the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I... Your gesture is so sweet, and after I accuse you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later and make it up to you. You can come with me. I, uh... I don't know if... Too late. It's happening. E, I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. Ah, oh, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Oh my god, Tails. So not only does Tails approve of Sun Amy, but he also approves of Shad Amy. Hmm. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. This wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Wow, you really are. You sound so disappointed. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source of your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly, confiden strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Andrew, I hate to see it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. <laughs> oh, now! The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Alright then, let's do it! Ready to go to the conductor's car? Let's finish it. It's now or never. Alright, guys. We're nearing the end. Oh, here we go. We're now at the conductor's car. Should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor's car yet. Feels... empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last time we saw him was when he left the... Uh, left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we, can, nothing we can't figure out. <laughs> Shadow's just like, Whoa, Amy, watch where you're going. Like, his, his pupils just shrunk. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of Joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. Aw. Alright, alright, we get it. He loves his wife. Alright, let's check the robot arm. This robot arm has has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is that arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off. But the question is, why? A confrontation definitely occurred within this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot arm has been added to your inventory. Cool. Um, yeah, let's do this. I didn't read these robot arms. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. 
I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Aw. Same actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Aw guys. Aw, everyone's complimenting Tails. Even Shadow did. That's adorable. Alright, let's do the screen. I'm just clicking on everything. I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to the sh they're used to show information and, and advertisements. They're nice. The picture's really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that I saw a slide that said "Happy Birthday, Amy." That was so cute. The next ad for for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. Uh, okay then. The high quality screens probably didn't do didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. A microphone. We could talk the, to the whole train like this. Hmm. Should I say something? Oh, the beatboxing! That's right. I forgot about that. Andrew, why are you reaching for the mic? Yeah. Also, hey Kawhi, how you doing, hon? What up, my friend? How you doing, bestie? Hope you're doing okay. Just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Andrew. Thank you for sharing. You know, what, what was the saying? Your, your, you, you stink, or your armpits stink. Okay, let me just go with that. If you can hear this, your armpits stink. Oh, you're, oh, you're reaching for the microphone. If you can hear this, your armpits stink. <laughs> My armpits certainly do not. They're clean. Uh, I'm sure they are tails, which is being silly. Perhaps not the audience for that sort of joke. Uh, okay, so now let's do the real stuff. So let's do the vent. A vent? Hmm, it's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Oh, the the tails. Right. Andrew. Ugh! Um, let's do the dart. Yep, your favorite ship. Exactly. Yep. You know it. Hmm? What's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Hmm. That shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on the passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make a note of this. Blow dust for that. Into your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Oh, wait. Let's just do real quickly. You know, I'm, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Yeah, there you go. And let's just check this real quickly. Wow, the conductor looks so young in this uniform. He's been here for a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Sp uh, Spagonia with his wife. Uh, I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is such a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. Haha. <laughs> um, alright, so now we can talk to Amy. Because we've done everything. Well, you two, I think think you have enough evidence for me to call out to call everyone here. It's it's high time we name the suspect. What do you think, Andrew? Ready to solve this case? Hell yeah. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, the gang is here. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Andrew. Why hasn't why hasn't Sonic shown up? Hmm. Vector? Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Oh Jesus, Amy! My god. Ready, let's go get him. Let let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The air is just... I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. You know what, Kawhi? You know what, Kawhi? I will say, even though I prefer Son Amy, I think you've made, you've I think you and Bionic have converted me into a uh, sh uh, Shad Amy fan as well. You have. Like I'm being dead ass serious. 
The train has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself, the amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I have a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. Oh, yeah, why can't they do it like... Oh, that would be something that is a cool side game. I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we can get a train ride just to relax sometime. Ha, huh, yeah, that'd be fun too. I love instead of sending an actual scream, it's just a little beep. Beep! But instead it's... Ah! Alright. Wow. Scream of sheer terror. What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Door slam. Oh my god. The, the, the pure exact, like, pure opposite reaction of how she was so happy when Sonic first got killed, or air quotes, killed. And now, um, now she's like in pure, like, panic. He, he, he's not respond. He, 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 he's not responding to us. Sonic! Sonic! What? Well, is he hurt? Why is he moving? Sonic? Sonic, can you hear us? She's banged up. If there's, if there, if there is a pulse, it's weak. Set him down. Vector, make sure his head's propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. Yeah, no shit. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but... Someone... Somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure this out exactly what happened in this room. And punish the one responsible. Sonic? He really was hurt this whole time and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Andrew, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Listen, like I, like, I'm gonna just go right to the point. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna drag on in, in the stream because obviously we all know who did it. SBO, you were the one to murder Sonic. Weren't you? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if that's the battle of which you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi wouldn't be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library card reading. He had only he only had access to the saloon card during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence. Oh, that's right. Andrew, could you fill everyone in? What do we find that brings into question the question Espio's alibi? Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car. Boom! Get roasted. To the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would have put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Andrew and I can explain that too. Andrew? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? Espio's a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages, and remarkably dis disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd, memorizing a whole book. I know this is a, this is a talented bunch, but that seems, uh, that seems like a lot. I don't know, it is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once sped read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage... 
then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I? How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would Espio would have known if it was there? You said it yourself. You were lucky to even find the passage. Andrew and I might have might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Andrew, who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Oh wait, was it not Shadow? Maybe you can give me a hint. Oh wait, is, is it Rouge because of the blueprints? Who could have told it? Who told us that? Let's do it. Was it? Wait, was it Rouge? Oh my God! Why is my brain like farting so badly? Yep, there we go. Yeah, with the blueprints. Like I had a very bad brain fart. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever. I already used this. Used it to scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. That's that's right. This right here is the blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw the blu those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Andrew, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Uh, there's a code included with these blueprints. I thought I thought was odd. That code is classified information. Could those blueprints have belonged to the conductor? That makes a lot of sense, actually. I remember the conductor pulling blueprints out to show me something during my interview. Espio could have swept the blueprints, found out about the passage, and then stuffed them somewhere. Come to think of it, I did, did discover the blueprints in the library car. No way. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Andrew and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Andrew and I have evidence on how it was done. Hmm? Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Boom. Okay, now to inform my argument. Come on, focus. You're close, Andrew. What did Sonic do? Alright, here we go. Time to do some more... Thinking! Think! Time to think! Oh god. Whoa! Oh, I forgot! I forgot about that! Oh, Tails is disappointing to me. I'm sorry! God damn it, I totally forgot all about that! Ah, oh, damn it! Did it? Barely. This is, this is gonna get. This is gonna get really difficult. This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible plausible, you say, then why are there so many holes in it? Do you deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the d in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot, that's a good point, but Tails was onto something. I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take all the hidden- to take the hidden patches back. If he took the hidden patches back, he'd end up back in the library. Andrew and I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Uh... 
No, it wouldn't be the arm. No, it's not. It's the arm. Wait, what? It's not either one of these? Alright, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, Andrew. Think. Oh, it is the blueprints. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, damn it. Alright, come on. Oh my god, really? I had to react again? Oh! <laughs> Big oof! God damn it. Alright. I can do this. Okay. Let's go. Yo, Fred, what's up, man? How you doing? Been a little while, man. Good to hear from you again. All right, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret patches to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? There's a patch above the conductor's car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. Huh? I don't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? Really? A long attic? Seriously? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it. Through the vent over there. He vented! You're the imposter. The vent, of course, that must have been the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There's a path back here and, and, and a track. A track, huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path arms... Uh, the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This is this is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Phew, now to think about my argument. You can do this, Andrew, you can do this. Oh, more thinking time, let's go, okay, yeah, why not? Oh boy, this is getting good, this is getting really hard now. All right, all right, all right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh... Nope. No! Ah. Get it, get it, yes! No! God! <clears throat> Damn, this one's hard! Alright, let's try it again. Gotta try this again. Alright, okay, come on, come on, come on. You can do this, you can do this. What?! Oh. Alright. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do this. No, come on. Ugh. Come on, I, I just can't get hit. Ugh. Yes! Let's go! Hell yeah! Everyone saw the bro broken robot arm on the ground, right? 
clearly a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of those robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles says that Knuckles said there's a, a track the robot the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Could could that be true? Take a look at take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? Wow, the shock in everyone's face. I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but he's but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory tales, but you have to admit these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to Espio yet, but I have but I have found one inconsistency. Hmm? What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information. I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that who received that information? Now that would be Shadow. Wait, what? A hot scoop that turned out to be false. Was it Amy? No. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Tails, you're you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? Uh, no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Tails is like, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> misheard you? Yes, I said uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence may not be airtight, but there's a lot there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us you want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time while you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Gah. And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could only have been one person. It was you, SBO! Ah, oh, there's the shot. There's the shot. Screenshot. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Huh? Oh! He's- he's alive! <laughs> do 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 do! Uh, hey guys. Sonic, you're okay! Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer. Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though. Really? It's non-lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great. I could use a nap. No, wait. There's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bag, Nick. Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? No, 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 no. We all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me about all the features of the train. But, but what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor ha hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a Flicky. A Flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twist enough to use a Flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it was more, was more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't they certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Hmm. Hmm. 
Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop! Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced off, sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poison. But another robot managed to grab me and pinned me to the floor. Ah! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no. Shouldn't that be Knuckles' line? Oh no! Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Rouge, Rouge is just like, yeah, uh, we get it. Yeah, we, we know. You don't need to say it. <laughs> Amy. Amy's ready to murder him. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You, sh you shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. <laughs> Are you crazy? It's it's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. See? What is that? Use this blow dart on Sonic. Station the conductor guard. It's laced with non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. <laughs> It says... Oh, yeah, okay, I just said that, so I'll just skip that. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express staff. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed, to, handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who? Or what? Andrew, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? Obviously the train. I believe something's been I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture. And for a good while, so I think. The train itself is plotting something. First we learned the train's a bad nick, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the, train, the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in, the, in our murder mystery game. Train? Come out and show yourself. Oh, uh, you see, now that would be like me if I was in like a paranormal investigation building and the ghost is just like being like, being a dick and just saying like stupid like voices or just throwing some stuff on the floor and, uh, and I'll be like super annoyed. I'll be like, hey, come out and show yourself. Hey, Amy? It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it. Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Boy, Amy is... Ain't you? No one's stopping Amy. Come on, there's gotta be another way to get this train's attention. Well, what was that? Oh, here we go. Here we go. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games. Ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you... Enough! The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Sonic! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Stay put until we arrive! Goodbye! Ah! Whoa! No! No! I can't keep my footing! Ah! Ah! And he got punched in the face. <laughs> Ha ha ha!
Hmm, a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Ugh, ah. Uh, my head. Tails? Amy? Ah. Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? Oh, it's Sonic. No need to yell, bud. S Sonic? I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question, but for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? You know, I don't want to be that guy and just say, like, Oh, I'm doing amazing! Just say, I feel terrible. Like, because uh, cause after all, he... Because he wanted to attend to him because he felt like he was seriously hurt, but... He just ignored it and then just went along saying, I feel terrible. Yeah, things aren't looking the brightest. But when the situation's dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Hey, that's my guy. That is my guy. When the situation's dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Hell yeah. That's my goat. Ah, Sonic's just as cool as everyone says. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. That yellow glow is chilling. I miss it when it was just showing us the weather. Oh, there you go. There's Eggman. Well, that's a better... Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Ah, there he is. There's the Robotnik himself. Hello? 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 Anyone there? Why is there no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. <laughs> you got some nerve showing up here, Egghead. Ho, ho, ho. You spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. You created this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Ah, ignoring that, they certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. So if I were to build Eggman Land, these problems would have need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg? Dr. Predictable? The people fear giant spheres. It's science. Let's cut to the chase. Where are your friends? Where are our friends? Judging by security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not, did you not know this was happening? Heavens no. I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a badnik is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without, without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happened aboard. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. So, this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I love to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. Forced to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. The train wants us to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple like my autograph or whatever. But the highly intelligent train... It may ask for something more... Interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you've ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do! Get lost! <laughs> Ciao! He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation and being made by Eggman, it's no doubt powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. 
What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were all in danger, and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? Isn't these two applying the same thing? I didn't try hard enough, I should have done more. Am I at fault here? I knew Sonic was hurt all along. I couldn't keep anyone safe. I knew Sonic was hurt all along. Hey! Oh, here we go. Here we go. Get ready for a true Sonic quote coming up. I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I... I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. Right, here we go, guys. Here we go. But when negative thoughts, but when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. My guy. That's my guy. That's my goal right here. I need you here helping me think through, think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Haha, <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe, okay. We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Believe in yourself. No matter, no matter the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure it out. The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So what would you do? What would I do? Well, I speed through head-on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Yeah! Wow, with one big wind up Sonic Speed Dash was fast enough to get the door open. Yeah, <laughs> now the road's cleaner, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Uh, hold on to my pants, okay. Uh, okay. I forgot that he even said that. <laughs> Ready to go? Let's do it to it. That's the spirit. Let's go find our friends. To the conductor car to end this mystery. Oh, here we go. Now, chat, this is where my suffering is going to begin. But I, this is my favorite. Okay, so real quick. This is my favorite soundtrack in, in the Murder Sonic the Hedgehog. Is this one right here. It's called the Lockdown Chase. I freaking love this. All right, our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the, the next door too. Ready? Let's do this. Go! Oh, there's Knuckles! Just wait until I see Eggman! I'm gonna clobber him! We gotta deal with the stream first, come on, let's go! Hmm. Here we go. Whoa! No! Alright, here we go! Oh, this music is very motivating! Oh, oh, oh. No! <laughs> Come on, man! Come on! Alright, not giving up. I can do this. Oh! Ah! I got distracted. Try that again. Damn it! Alright, I can do this. I can do this. Woo! Come on. It. No. 
Oh, okay, I'm safe. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. You can't, you all came for us. Of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get off that stupid train. Let's go. Oh, damn it. Move too early. Yes! Easy, easy, easy. Oh my god! This deception's ruined my eyes! Oh, oh. Yes! No! Yes! Let's go! Yes! Let's go! Sonic! It's about time I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move, you two ready? Always. Let's boogie! Alright, here we go. Oh no. Oh no! Oh god! Oh god, oh god. Oh, oh. No! Wait, do I still- Okay. Oh god. Go. Oh. Yes! They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more. Let's go! Oh, it's going fast. Oh god. Going really fast. Oh god. No! Oh, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I, oh, yeah, I definitely fucked it up. Oh, God. God. No! Oh, my God. Yeah, I... I nope. Yeah, that was... That was awful. Alright. Let's try that again. It, it's... It's not the rings. It's... It's the speed now. Go! Here we go. Sonic! Sonic, you're here! Yeah, this is no way to treat the birthday girl. Hey! You're right. I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. Oh, I, lo I love this soundtrack so, so freaking much. So good. Alright, here we go. We're back, bitches! Oh, and so is Eggman. Excellent work trapping these pests! Now hurry to me! I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Man, and probably another Death Egg! Don't turn us into robots! Ho ho ho! Haven't done that in a while! Maybe that will turn you all into robots to give Sage some new toys to play with! Oh! Oh my god! I forgot he said that! Oh my god! Shut it, Eggman! Don't disappoint me, Train. Hurry it up! I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh! You mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown, overgrown mammals. Grr, that Eggman? I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is, this is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh god, oh god. Here, here we go. The suffering. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. No. No! Alright, that's one. Alright. None of you could po none of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave like it was nothing? What do you mean, the conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what we've been. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Unfortunately, I've had that experience in my lifetime before. Shut up. Just shut up. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, too much. Too much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Oh. Yes! Oh, yeah! Let's go. Eggman. Eggman. Can you hear me? My wish. My wish. My wish. Make the conductor car never leave me. Let us be friends forever! The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! No! Ah! Oh, oh god. Oh, no. Stop! Stop doing that! Oh my god, stop! No! God damn it! No! Damn it! Alright, alright, come on, come on, come on. You got this, you got this, you got this, you got this. Oh god, no. Aw, oh, damn it. No, oh, don't fall. Oh god. Ah, 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 ah. No! No! <laughs> I fucked it up! <laughs> no! Oh my god! I gotta keep hitting the wrong keys! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, I'm not gonna get this. Oh my god! Alright, come on. Oh my god, come on, man! I just want to do this, please! This is not even the hardest one at all! No! Are you, are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Oh my god, come on! Alright, come on. Alright. Ah. No! Come on! Oh. Mmm. I can feel the rage building! It's building! It's building deep inside my veins. I'm, I am not liking it at all whatsoever. Come on. Ugh. Oh, 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 no! Stop! No! Oh my god! Come on, man! Oh my god! No, don't fall! Yes! Finally! Oh my god! Finally! Finally! Conductor! You promised me! You promised! Let him speak! Unhand him! Tr train! Stop this! When I told you we'd be each other forever, I was a much younger man! I'm getting old! I'm tired! Excuses! How dare you abandon me! I'll be lonely! So lonely! Why must you insist loneliness upon me?! No! Stop! What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this! 
We have to rescue the conductor if we, if, we, if we ever want to stop this train. Oh, here we go. Oh, God, here we go. Time for the suffering to begin. Here we go. Oh, here we go, guys. Now for the true suffering to begin. What? How do they... Shit. Oh! No! Oh, this is gonna suck! No! <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna suffer! Oh, I'm gonna suffer! Oh. All right, okay, that's one. That's one, that's one. All right. All right, come on. Boom, that's one. All right, here we go. There's the flicky. A flicky. This is just like the lore card. When my ex best friend left detective, left detective to work to join Eggman. So this is really a bad nick. The stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him. On it. Let's show our full power. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Oh, not the 85 one. Oh god, this is this is the worst one. No. Oh. Just watch the bug. Watch the scoop up. Okay. I know what to do. Oh no! Oh my god! Why? Oh my god! I'm hitting the wrong keys. Oh my god! I'm fucking it up! I'm fucking it up! I'm fucking it up! I'm fucking it up! Oh my god! So much is happening! <laughs> Stop! Why are my keys not working? Ugh! This is the. Oh my god! Oh my god! No! What? Let's go! Yes! Alright. Just... Just be delivered to Eggman already! What about... What about my happiness? Your happiness... Your happiness comes at the expense of others! Last I checked, that's called being selfish! Me... Selfish? How... How dare you! Oh god, here we go! <laughs> oh god, 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 oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh god. Oh. Oh god, no! Ah, stop! Get it, get it, yes! Get it, yes! No! I thought I did it! I thought I did it! Oh, damn it! Ugh. No! Oh god, alright, I'm, 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 oh my god, okay, I'm definitely not gonna do this. Oh my god! Okay, yep. My god, so much is happening. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, let's try this again. Ugh. Oh my... Can my fucking keys work, please? Oh my god. Nope. Ah, oh, god 
damn it. Nope. How are you supposed to avoid that? Yes. No, no! I hit the space bar! I hit the space bar! Are you fucking kidding me? Huh? Oh my god! Nope. Alright, alright. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Get it? Yes. Yes! Let's go! Finally! No. No. No! No! Oh! <laughs> I'll grab the flicky. It's over! Time to pay for ruining my birthday! Boom! Destroyed. And she's flying. And there it is. There you go. There it is. There it is. Saw an Amy. The train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. Heh, <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. Don't, that's true, guys. You know what they say, don't fuck with Amy Rose. She will make you pay. I, I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the tr trouble. Yeah, die, bitch. I think our work here is done. Let's get off this thing. <laughs> Amy just doesn't give a shit about the train's dead. I mean, for good reason. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Ah, uh, yeah! Oh my god, him sweat it off. We did it! Well, I, well, I'll say, I'll never, I've, I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step. It, it's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we just ask Vanilla to make dinner. <laughs> oh, you don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually going to miss this group's hunting's way of thinking. Oh, and there it is. There's his wife. There's the conductor's wife that, for apparently a lot of people in the Sonic community, find her attractive. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. <laughs> you honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spag Spagonia in the, in the morning, and you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation something t vacation something terrible. Wait, I need this vacation something terrible. Huh? What? I need this vacation something terrible. Okay, I think. So All right, I really don't think someone double checked their dialogue when they typed it in here. I need this vacation something terrible. How about just saying, I need this vacation really badly, or real badly, not really badly, just real badly. Like, that would have made much more sense. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor is more ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? <laughs> An old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Seems that Flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, SBO. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be, you were just following what you thought was the game. 
It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have done it without a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool, and now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group had a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we had never ate. With all the clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues presenting evidence poking holes in alibis. Sonic, where did he go? Everyone, guess what? Hey! Look at him holding the birthday cake. Birthday cake. This station has a bakery, and look what I bought. Wow, so the station just randomly has a bakery? Okay, then. Ah, a birthday cake. Oh, let's forget. Oh my god, that's cute. That is cute. Ah, a birthday cake. Hey, there's the gang. Happy birthday, Amy. To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable birthday, a memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkly person, 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 wait, not personality, personacity. Oh, personacity. Okay. Happy birthday. I'm not smart enough to know if, per if personacity is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, you guys. We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but, but, I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys would, won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Yes, please. Dig in, everyone. Yay. I hope it's chocolate. Of course you do. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this. Hey! There he is! There's Eggman! There's Sage! There's, uh, Metal Sonic! That train's never going to make- That train's never making it here, is it? <clears throat> Orbot, prepare a bath! The unhappy rubber duck or the angry one? ANGRY! Sour choice, your evilness. SHUT IT! And that's my story when I met Sonic and his friends, entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment and then back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I... Eh, I quit my job. And then... One millions in the lottery. Yep, I'm a, I'm a wealthy millionaire and I'm off to get myself a... Uh, a mansion in Beverly Hills and a penthouse in Manhattan. And after all that, I... Managed to fly to space. Yeah, that's just been my life. Exactly. Because I'm a millionaire, multi-millionaire, and I... And I... And I flew into space. Hey! And there it is, guys. That was something. Just to, just to relive this game, and I haven't played this game when since the first day it came out last year. And... I haven't touched it at all. I have not played it. I have not. But just to go back to this was just incredible. Like it still holds. It's still fun. It's still um, attention grabbing, inducing. It, and it's just. It just. You just can't help but smile every time you. You just can't help but smile every time you look at this game. Like this is incredible. I, I, I freaking love this game. No, you went to own a supermarket. Hey, come on, wait, whoa, whoa, hey, let me win, let me, can I win some millions? Come on, I want to be a millionaire. At this point, being a millionaire is, is going to get you through in life at this point, with the economy. Thanks for streaming this, this Andrew. I definitely wouldn't have vibe, wouldn't have vibe with this game. Oh, great. I'm, you know what, Demi? Anything for you, and you're very welcome. Oh, Jun Junsano was in this? For the music? Oh, I never, I never knew that. Oh, I'm sure he did the guitar in the, uh, the electric guitar in the end. Near the end of the game. Oh, my God. Guys, like, this game still holds up. 
And the fact that this game was free, it's it was free when this game came out. So anyone can download it. If they have a PC, obviously. Like that's what made this game even so much more like more enticing to, to play and to get, because the fact that it was free it just made it a hell of a lot better. Like this game is an easy S tier. I don't care what anyone says. If you want to give me a letter tier in terms of this game, it's an S tier. I, I'm, I, have, I have no... Com like, if I have only any minor complaints about this, if Silver was in this game, it would be... I, I, it would be perfect. But I give this game a 9.5 out of 10. If they just... If they would have just included Silver, I would have... I would have... If this would be 10 out of 10 for me. It's adorable, but wouldn't have kept my attention. Well, that's the thing... Demi, this game, if you, th it's a side game, and this game goes, if you if you want to keep it at a steady pace, it's like a good three to four hours. That's the thing. But, yeah, like, like th this game, like I said, this game still holds up. It really does. Like I've seen, I've seen concept of artists make silver as a postman or like a mailman, which I think is genius. I thought it blends in really well in terms of him being there within the game and with him at with the with the with the po postal man uh, outfit. Yeah, why wasn't silver in this game? Come on, were you show your millions with me? Yeah, sure, I'll show your millions with you. Why not? Yeah, why wasn't silver? Yeah, I know. That's the most surprising thing because considering the fact that this was Amy's birthday, like, like, like Amy would have clearly have invited silver. Yeah, I, I, yeah, like it's, it's still, it's still a surprise to me that he wasn't in the game. I just don't know if they, if they wanted to, if they wanted to not add, keep adding more characters into it. But yeah, they, they they should have had they should have had silver. They, thank you for saying let me play this game. Thank you for playing. Happy April Fool's Day. Observe. You see, that would have been more clever if I streamed this game on Monday, but I had other priorities to take care of. God, the music still holds up. Well, well, everyone, that was it. That was. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, and a happy belated one year anniversary to this game. Again, this is by far one of my favorite Sonic games ever. I don't care if, if people say, oh, this is not a main game. Who cares? Like, th this in general is by far one of my favorite Sonic games ever. Okay? Like, just going along with the story, the dialogue's incredible, the character, the way they presented the characters was incredible. Just everything around it was just absolutely amazing. And I'm just so happy that for the first time since the game first came out, I was able to experience this again. This was, this, this, I really hope Sega does more of this stuff in the future. They do more of these side mini games, like side games like this. Um, I, I just hope they keep up with it because th this was a genius idea on Sega's part. And I hope they continue this trend going forward down the road as we embrace more of the future when it comes to the Sonic the Hedgehog. So again, this game still holds up, and I was very happy to stream to play this again, let alone stream this. I'm glad I could share this with all of you as well. So guys, this is where I'm definitely going to call it now. I have been going on for, this has been what, I think almost four hours now at this point. So yeah, I am ready to call it a stream I need because I need to go grab some dinner because I am starving. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for who dropped by. Thank you all so much for dropping by my stream to say hello. It really, really means the world to me. Uh, so again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And again, thank you all so much. It really, really does mean the world to me. So on this happy note, I want to say thank you all for joining and have a lovely, lovely night, everyone. I will see you all soon, perhaps with some more phasmophobia. But yeah, take care.